What's up everybody, happy Friday. Hope everyone's day is going well. I'm ready for the weekend, I'm sure you guys are too. So the guy that I've been kind of pumping up the past week and a half, two weeks, Nas, dropped his new album, the sequel to the one he released less than a year ago, which is unheard of for Nas. King's Disease 2 dropped today. And let me tell you, I already listened to roughly half of it and it's better than the first one so far. I've, I'm already liking it better. So even if the back half of the album sucks, I still gotta say it's better than the first one. I didn't really love the first one. Even though it won the Grammy, I get that, but Nas has had way better albums in the past. That's just a fact. Um, but anyway, in this video, I wanna do a sales prediction on what I think it's gonna sell in the first week. And honestly, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat, I think it's gonna outsell the first one, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then, listen, I was I was just listening to the song with Lauryn Hill, and I'll be honest, I've never really listened to Lauryn Hill that much. I know she went diamond with her first album, very popular in the 90s, kind of did a disappearing act for a while, doesn't really do a lot of features, so this was kind of crazy. But I listened to it, and it just made me think, what a difference between her and these dumb whores like Megan Thee Stallion, Saweetie, Cardi B, these disgusting pieces of shit that you could literally, I mean, they're as disgusting as a dog shit that you step in by accident on your shoe and you're like, man, I can't even walk in the house now. I was, it was a breath of fresh air hearing her verse. Even though I'm not big into female rappers, her verse just showed me that there's so much better women out there than these fucking disgusting pieces of shit like, like the women I just mentioned. They're not even women. They're fucking lower than women. They're whores. They're whores. So it was nice to hear an actual woman spit a verse and talk about some real life shit. So that was nice. So anyway, um, call you back. Uh, love, love Nas, and I'm really loving this album so far. Um, not really gonna do a review, but I will say, I was listening to the um, A Boogie feature and the YG feature track. And um, I, I didn't think I was gonna like it because I've never been a big YG or a Boogie fan. But it, I just loved Nas verses in, in that song when he was like, uh, he talked about like a, a little Uzi beat or something like that. Like, like cause the beat was kind of like a more new age kind of beat. You didn't expect Nas to rap on it, but he did a good job. Um, so anyway, loving the album. And I've been listening to a lot of old Nas stuff lately. And um, it, this is up there with some of his better stuff. So I'm really loving the album so far. Uh, you could tell he's very motivated right now to rap for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because um, lyrical rap is kind of coming back in vogue lately. You know, like a lot of the rappers that were big, you know, five years ago with the colored hair and all that stuff, that, that era has kind of dwindled down and now lyrical rap is kind of coming back. So I think Nas realizes that, he's capitalizing on that and he's um, doing what he's always done but also the beats are a little bit um, better as well. So like, I'm, I'm really impressed so far and I'm thinking, somebody said they want me to do a review. I'm thinking about doing a review, but I wanna dissect the album a little bit more. This is just a little bit of a, um, kind of my thoughts so far, but I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a review, I'll think about it but anyway. Loving it so far, what's it gonna sell in the first week? Well, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I do think it's gonna outsell the first one for a couple reasons. For one, he's got Eminem on it. So people are gonna stream that song like crazy. I mean, two legends, two rap legends on the same track, that's gonna be a popular song. I mean, that song is gonna debut definitely in the top 100. I don't know if it's gonna hit the top 40, but that song is gonna be streamed a lot. I wish they would've shot a video for it and dropped it today. Um, with EPMD, let me not forget, EPMD is on the track as well. And EPMD, they, um, were huge in the late 80s, early 90s as well. A little bit before my time, but I, I know that they've done a lot. They've gone platinum, they've, they've had hits. So um, can't got, can't leave them out. But uh, with that song, and then he's also got a boogie and um, YG, as I just mentioned. He's got Lauren Hill, as I mentioned. Uh, Charlie Wilson, who's done a lot of stuff with Snoop Dogg. He's got, uh, I can't remember who else. But anyway, the features are bigger. And that one Eminem feature alone is gonna get people interested. So they're gonna go, they're gonna be like, oh, Eminem, like Eminem stands, they're gonna listen to the song regardless of what happens. 
even if they're not Nas fans, they're gonna be like, well, I gotta check this song out. So that's gonna run the numbers up, right? And then they might be like, well, let me see what Nas is about. So they might just go ahead and start streaming a little bit more of the album too. So that's gonna lead to more people checking the album out. So I do think the last one sold, King's Disease, the first one, sold 47K in the first week, and then it won a Grammy. And that's another reason that I think this was gonna sell more, because he just won a Grammy. So I think this one is going to do at least 60K in the first week. I think it's gonna do at least 60, maybe even up to 80. I think that I think that he's kind of getting his name back up a little bit. And uh, Nazir, which dropped in, what was it, 2018, when he was on, uh, doing the Kanye thing, uh, that one sold around 80, I think 77K. So I think this one's gonna get closer to that one and outsell Kings of Season 1. So that's my prediction, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments what do you think Nas is going to sell in the first week with Kings of Season 2, and I'll talk to you guys later.